disclaimer! I'm the other one, you bastard! Brought to you by supporters who probably have better taste than this schmuck. No, he's a good guy now, but he still looks like he wants to hit me. Canada. With the Shadow Glass series returning as a highlight of the Generations line repainted from the modern figures, of course we'd see a twist on the classic characters. Unless you're Flame War or Slicer. Megatron is no different. Rather than the chaotic Lord of the Decepticons ruled under tyranny, this Megatron is a heroic leader taking on the villainous Autobots. This was made mainly as a Hasbro Pulse exclusive, but thankfully for us Canadians, it showed up in GameStop. Megatron's model is made from the same Siege toy that they've used multiple times. Aside from the colors, the only difference is the parts used to make the proper new form. But with the sword cannon still involved, you can recreate his tank mode. Look, I get that it's used a lot but this is usually my default go-to for the tyrant, even if he's less of a tyrant. I like the use of blue with the red details and black and white spread throughout like a Dalmatian. What's black, white, and red all over? My mom! But as we know, it's an H tank with tread pods, a rotating turret, a porthole for blast effects, and various portholes all around that I guess we could store some of the parts. I just figured we could look at this, but in reference to the original shared glass toy, open the legs, turn the waist, the turret, plug in the parts, and voila! The jet form is now in reference to to the Energon toy, and it looks fine enough for something that's essentially given an upgrade kit. I like that the turret is still in use, feeling like a nod to the little tank the original came with. The wings plug to the side and are molded in an Energon-esque blue with red details. The nose plugs on top combining the legs. It looks more like a bird beak, but the point still works with the black feet. And I like the outline of the windscreen. I guess you could plug the sword turret to keep everything together if you don't mind the look. So far, I like the change. It's weird with the obvious legs in the middle, but it's just a way to make use of the typical form while throwing in the original toy reference. Robot mode. <laughs> typical Siege Megatron does typical Siege Megatron things, but now he likes flowers and stuff. I'm just glad they used the Siege toy and that it doesn't seem to yellow like Starscream, but it is kind of weird seeing it in this bright white matched with pure black. There's a strong heft to his appearance with the big and slick boots and bold chest. The yellow seems weird, it looks like pineapple slices. Perhaps the body could use gunmetal or something. Yes, he has a backpack, but I like that they painted the vents with metallic blue. I like the head. Fits in with the body with classic helmet and eyebrow thing. It's colored like the original Shared Glass toy, which gives him the concept G1 comic appearance. Did someone say, I got it! Ball joint ahead, shoulders out and in, forward to back, rotation below, elbow bent, waist rotation, hips out and in, forward to back, rotation below, knee bend, and foot tilt. Buzz ability seems good enough with a fair amount of strength. Just watch out for the panel on the head and the foot that might slip out since you have to unlock the joint. Let's take a look at the accessories. He includes the classic fusion cannon with the addition of the new blue paint. He also still includes his massive sword with the blue center and tabs for the underused slashing effects. As a bonus, the new cockpit becomes an arm-mounted blade and shield. Then for the original Energon flare, the wings attach to the back adding more transparent blue. There's portholes in the feet, side the legs, hands, two on the arms, two on the back, and two on top so you can decorate this non-warlord warlord. I'd imagine most of you have come across this mold or the earth form at some point. It was hard not to, so you might get tired of it, but I like taking the modern figures and giving them the original Shattered Glass twist. Also, if you need a better excuse, the options for a Generation Shattered Glass Megatron is pretty limited. The added stuff is an interesting option you can leave out if you want, and while the deco might not be my favorite, I think there's some interesting things going on with it. I doubt he does, but he still looks like he eats puppies.